Welcome to Jutsu Kaisen. I've been teaching you the basis of exercising curses using curse energy based on all the information in this series we've been able to pick up so far. However, what are you supposed to do when you come up against the next thing we're going to explain? Vengeful spirits. Of course, you know what a curse spirit is. However, vengeful spirits take it to an entirely different level because from their creation, they start off entirely differently. Usually, a curse spirit is created from the negative emotions of humans and a human can even become a curse on rare occasions like what might happen to a sorcerer who's killed by an attack with no curse energy. In some some rare cases though a person who dies might have an obsession or fixation on someone else and instead of moving on peacefully they refuse and snap becoming something known as a vengeful curse spirit vengeful curse spirits possess nearly infinite curse energy and they're usually tied to a person or a goal that they had in life and take pleasure in harming others despite the fact that they can never be satisfied these curses can't be exercised meaning getting rid of them takes some understanding of what ties them to this world like how yuta finally exercised rika after going through many steps next we'll talk about identity spirits, so make sure to come back.